Is it time to take some money out of the U.S. equity market? Steady trader Serge Berger thinks so, and here's why. Usually when you have choppy markets, and, and this is the best example that so far this year has been U.S. equities, uh, what you tend to see after a period of chop is a more directional and more powerful move. Um, that can be two-sided. It could just become more volatile um, and then become more directional. So from my perspective, I think we're finally probably due for a better sort of 10 to 15, maybe 20 percent correction here after six years of a rampant bull market, particularly in U.S. equities. Um, so I think we're getting close to that. There's a ton of divergence just taking place in the market. You know, we've seen a lot of volatility or over the past 10 months or so pick up uh, from commodities to currencies to interest rates most recently. And equities tend to be the last of the bunch to start picking up and uh, see a pickup in volatility. So I think uh, we're very close to, to, to a point here where we could finally see a better sort of correction on, uh, on the downside. And uh, if we are in cash as opposed to in short positions, uh, you know, uh, we will certainly be better place to sort of make less irrational decisions. But hang on, isn't sitting on cash one of the worst ways to make money? There's sort of this, this misconception out there that being in cash is a bad thing. Going to cash is a really important tactical, uh, I'm going to call it active investing decision as well. I don't think sitting in cash for 12 months is so smart, uh, but sitting in cash helps you sort of digest the news in a more neutral or objective way than if you're stuck in a position and you're just basically looking for the bits of news that support your position. Um, at the same time, I would say if volatility picks up this summer uh, sort of more timely, I would suspect that you know bonds will probably be a decent spot to be hiding during that period of volatility. Um, but again, I'm not looking to be in cash for 12 months. I would think that once this burst of volatility comes in, it probably shouldn't take longer than, say, two months or so. And I would be more than uh, preferring to buy the dip quite aggressively once that's over, as opposed to trying to look too close for things to do uh, with that cash in that two-month time frame. Here's how Serge would readjust his portfolio at a time when cash is king. The question I would ask myself is, you know, do I have my portfolio divided up into a more active part and a longer term part. A lot of people tend to do that. So if that's the base case, you know, I would very much segregate those two and the longer term stuff, quote unquote, you can probably keep as it is. I'm more concerned with the more active portfolio where I would probably be at least 60, 70 percent cash or so uh, once we or at the latest, once we start seeing the, the real volatility pick up. Um, again, that's just so you're you're more ready to, to take on these opportunities as opposed to being stuck in positions and really your mind is then essentially stuck.